Everybody, good morning. It is your girl, your diva knowledge, Lady Mocha, representing Mocha's Cafe de Paris. I know it is Monday. You back on the grind, back to a whole nother week. You know, I know everybody does not like Mondays, but hey, it is what it is. I want to give a big up to all of my subscribers, those of you who have been rocking with me from day one. I appreciate you for still being such dedicated, loyal subscribers. Um, definitely want to thank all of my new subscribers that are just jumping on board who have just subscribed. I welcome you to Mocha's Cafe de Paris family. And for anybody who's just viewing me for the first time today, if you like the content that you hear, if you like the knowledge and the wisdom that I have been sharing with you make sure you subscribe and you like and you share i'm very appreciative for any of you who will take the time to get to do that but on that note want to thank everybody this morning for tuning in i'm sure you're probably on your way to work are you at or either at work <laughs> uh definitely before i go on today into do into today's recipe of what i got served on the menu now i know this content <laughs> is going to make a lot of single mothers mad with me <laughs> i definitely i definitely know i'm going to have some single moms that are going to be lit me up i know for a fact i'm going to get some ugly ugly comments underneath this video today for the recipe that I have in store. But, you know, I'm just one, I'm going to keep it real, even if it means, you know, stepping on some toes, you know, that, I mean, how can we share wisdom and knowledge if we're not being honest, if we're not being truthful about the things that are really going on out there? Good morning to Black in Japan. I salute you, brother. Thank you for representing and stopping by this morning. Me and Black in Japan did a live, um, I think it was last weekend. Make sure y'all check that out. Um, I got it uploaded. He's a really, really intelligent, intellectual guy. Big ups to Black in Japan. Thank you. Sadia, what's up? Good morning, girl. And Roy Pearson, good morning to you as well. Now, with no further ado, I got to go into this content today, y'all. And the name of today's content, the recipe that I got served up for y'all is called Layaway Fathers. Now, I know when you hear Layaway Fathers, you're thinking, okay, what does she mean by that? And no need to fear. I'm going to break down all of the elements for exactly what I mean by that. Now, first of all, I'm going to start off by saying I do give, you know, a lot of props. I do give kudos to the step parents out there. I know it's not easy being a step parent, meaning stepping up to somebody else's responsibility, stepping up to helping somebody else with their baggage, baggage you did not create. Um, I definitely took my hats off to you because it is not easy um, taking on somebody else's responsibilities. And I can speak from personal experience. I am a stepmother. Um, so I know what it's like to not uh, fully be appreciated for what you do, especially when it comes to the opposite parent um and especially if the parent of the child um as far as the person that you're dealing with does not like you or um has some is intimidated by you because you're bonding with their kids in a way they feel like you don't need to be bonding with them i get it it's a lot of pressure um that comes along with being a step parent um and that goes both ways whether if you're a stepmother or if you're a stepfather but however, there are some differences when it comes to step parenting. Now, the main thing is usually what I notice is when women are stepmothers, uh, we we go through we go through the battles. But the thing about it is, uh, being a stepmom, the baggage is not too bad for the stepmother because the kids don't normally live with the father. 
the kids normally live with the mother. So when the kids come over, it's like a every weekend or during the holidays, visitation type thing. You know, when me and my husband was, uh, we've been married 19 years going on and he already had children before I met him. I didn't have any kids. So believe it or not, guys, it's not sisters out there who's coming to guys with baggage. Believe it or not, it's some brothers coming out there. It's some brothers who are coming to women with baggage. It's not always just the women going to the brothers with the baggage. Make sure I put that out there because like I said, I didn't have any kids. I didn't have no baggage. My husband had the baggage. <laughs> OK, so not all women have baggage, you know what I mean, especially black women. I know because I was one. I didn't have baggage. I didn't have children um, when I met my husband. But nevertheless, he did. And um, good morning, Shelly Shells. Thank you, love, for coming on in. Appreciate it. Yep. Don't forget to hit that like button, y'all. Whenever you get a chance, it's only a second. Hit that like button. I would appreciate it. Um, but yeah, as I stated, you know, uh, my husband already had two kids prior to me stepping in the picture. And, um, you know, I didn't feel the burden a whole lot due to the fact that they did live with their mom. So when I dealt with my stepkids, uh, it was like on the weekends or doing like the holidays or something like that. But I didn't deal with them a lot. But the thing about you guys, y'all have a little bit worse. You stepfathers have a little bit worse. <laughs> well, I won't say worse um, because, yeah, well, I'll get to that later. So I'm not, I don't want to lose my point. But anyways, you stepfathers, you have things a little, it's more a little rough for y'all because the children live with the woman. Okay. So y'all feel the effect of being a step parent more than a woman does. Now there are some cases on which the woman feels the phone. Let's say if the mother is deceased or the mother is just negligent, a crackhead or something like that. And the kids happen to live with the father. Yeah, it does happen. But for the most part, you men are going to be dealing with really feeling the funk of it because when you when the woman comes into your life she's coming with her children bottom line if she's already a single mother she's already a mom with kids you're not going to be able to separate her and not the kids and vice versa it is a package deal it's a whole bundle okay all right it's not like mcdonald's where you get away where you could just order the cheeseburger and you don't have to get the fries you don't have to get the drink when you deal with a woman who got kids my brother you got to get the whole combo okay you just don't get to pick what you want out the combo it comes as a package deal you feel me so um that's why it's very imperative that if you get involved with the woman uh, who has children you are able to handle it is a combo it's a package you don't get the fries and not get the soda. You don't get the soda and not get the fries. You don't get the fries and not get the burger. You don't get the burger without getting the fries. It all comes together. Y'all get what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, sometimes you go to McDonald's, you want to be cheap, especially if you're hungry and you only got $2. You can't afford to buy that whole combo. You can't give McDonald's that whole 5 or $6. So sometimes, you know, you got to cut corners and just say, okay, well, if I order from the dollar menu, let me just get the burger and let me just get the get a soda. Don't even worry about the fries because I don't even have an extra $2 to get the whole combo. But y'all get what I'm saying. <laughs> but guess what? When you meet a woman with children, there is no multiple choice. You got to deal with the whole shebang, okay? But nevertheless, going on to my point. Uh, so you guys, y'all deal with the bulk of it. Like I stated, um, when you meet a woman, you're going to you're going and she has children, it comes as a package deal. So you guys, y'all feel the, the 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 real effect of it. Now, let me start off by saying that. If you are a stepfather and you are stepping up, you taking the place. What's up, Katrina Boyd? Good to see you. Good morning. If you are a man and you are stepping up to the plate, you are fathering another man's children, I commend you. Um, you have my utmost respect and same thing for you women out there. You stepping up and you helping another man take care of his children that you did not create, you did not partake in when he when those children was conceived. Big ups to you, because like I said, it's not easy taking on somebody else's responsibilities. It's not easy taking on somebody else's baggage, especially when the other parent is unappreciative and ungrateful of it. So, you know, only those who've been there understand where I'm coming from and could relate to how that goes. Uh, but um, this is the thing about it. This is why I'm doing the content about layaway dads. Um, you have some women out there who do have the best of intentions. 
Um, not all mothers are single mothers because they just was flat out negligent and irresponsible. Some women are single mothers because they were married. They were in a relationship and things just did not work out. The marriage did not work out. But the whole thing about it was she married the father of her children. She had a relationship with the father of her children, which meant she wasn't going around here screwing every time Dick and Daryl just to get a paycheck and just to get some wick and some food stamps and some benefits. She actually wanted a family. Thank you, Shelly Shells, for the $5. I appreciate you so much this morning. Thank you. Um, so, you know, not all women who are single mothers are straight up thoughts. All of them not negligent, all are not irresponsible. Some of these women were married and the marriage did not work out. So women in this case, I don't look at them. I don't throw no shade upon a woman who has her children from her husband, but the marriage did not work out. I don't, I can't throw any shade at her because of the simple fact that she did try to go about it the right way. She tried to um, set a foundation for her children. She was, she was a wife, not just a baby mama. So there's a difference. So women in this case are an exception to the rule of being single mothers because they were wives that ended up becoming single mothers. Okay. So secondly, there are other women that are single mothers because the father has deceased or passed away that I can't hold her accountable for because that was a situation beyond her control. So some women are single mothers because the father died. Either he was in the military, died in the war, or either he died from an Ill illness or a car accident. Let's face it, things happen in life. None of us are promised to be here tomorrow. So if she's a single mother because of losing uh, her, her child's father through death, that is not her fault. She had no control over that. Okay. Uh, if the father is incarcerated, is he, if he's in jail or in prison, I could only blame her to a small amount. I could blame her if she knew he was a man who was always in and out of the system and still wanted to get pregnant from him anyway then I hold her accountable for it. But let's say if, you know, the guy for the most part is a good father and he was always there, but he messed up and made a bad decision. I caused him to have to go to jail. He's in prison for years. He can't be out to take care of his children. So that I, I can't, I, I, I can't hold against her. So to break all of this down where everybody can understand if you are a single mother because you was married and you're you still have a divorce and the marriage didn't work out or the father of your child died or he's incarcerated, then guess what? I can't hold nothing against you on that because that was beyond your control. Now, for the rest of you, you has no sympathy, <laughs> especially you, the ones who have been going around randomly, raw dog and random men, not using no protection, trying to get that hood law, you know, that is that 18 year child support. I, I, I cannot sympathize. I cannot empathize with you because you are not, you were, you are not taking the proper precautions to avoid putting yourself in that situation. So I cannot, you know, sympathize. I can't show you the same type of compassion that I would show a mother who her child's father died or they had a bad divorce. Maybe he was abusive and she had to leave him, things of that nature. Um, you know, that's different. Now, I know I'm digressing, but I'm getting ready to work on, I'm getting ready to go to the point to why I'm doing this content. Now, we're talking about these layaway dads. The reason why I felt it was imperative that I did this is because it's a lot of you brothers out here who are getting bamboozled. You have fallen to the attractment of stepping up to somebody else's burdens, somebody else's baggage. Now, let me explain the difference between a blessing and a burden, because some people don't know the difference between the two. So I'm going to break it down and I'm going to analyze it. Now, how many of us in this chat room have heard people say, children are a blessing? No matter how they get here, they are a blessing. How many of us have heard that? If you have heard that phrase before, just hit the number one, because I want to make sure we're on the same accord. If you have heard the phrase that a child is a blessing, no matter how that child gets here, no, don't matter if he got here through a one night stand, don't matter if that child got here 
doing adultery. It don't matter if that child got here, you know, through the woman being malicious. How many of us have heard a child is a blessing no matter what? If you have heard that phrase before, hit the number one in here. Okay, all right. I just want to make sure we're on the same key. I want to make sure y'all feeling, y'all vibing with me this morning on this content. Okay, good. Now, that's bullshit. <laughs> it is straight bull. It's straight bull. Now, I'm going to analyze and I'm going to break that down because I know some woman that's in this chat room that's going to get offended. How dare you say my child is not a blessing? How dare you after I carried this child from nine months? How dare you insult my child? Because you notice how some of these single moms will really get offended when you make this statement and she wants to keep making it seem like you're bashing a child when really it's her that you're bashing, but she wants to make it seem like you are bashing her child because of the act she made bringing that child into this world. You notice that? <laughs> Don't talk about my child. People get sensitive when you talk about their child, their children now. And not understanding, you, you just want to take that part because you want everybody to overlook the fact that you was negligent and how you brought that child here. But you want to make it seem like people ragging and dragging your child when it ain't the child. It's the fact that that child would have not been here had you been smart and wise and made a better decision in what you made. But they, they swear somebody talking about their children because, again, it's, it's about projecting and reflecting. They, they trying to take the heat off of them. So they want to make it seem like you a dog and a child or you insulting a child. Is that that that's what I'm if, if, if and you always know that one woman because she's the first one to come up in somebody's chat room. Who are you to judge? Who are you to judge? <laughs> You know, come on now, black women, you know when we get offended, you know we quit to say, who are you to judge? Who are you to judge? <laughs> Don't judge me. Only the Lord can judge me. We quit to throw that one out there, Lord, when the heat is on us. Don't judge me. Only the Lord can judge me. <laughs> when the heat is on us. On, when the heat is on us, the only person we want to judge us is the Lord. If you ain't the Lord, then guess what? You cannot say nothing. <laughs> Come on now. Y'all know I'm telling the truth. It's always that one sister. Don't forget to thumbs up the video, y'all. Don't, don't, don't be side chicken me. Don't be coming over here to get some of this knowledge and, and you not, you know, tipping me. Make sure y'all tip me with that thumbs up now. It's not charging. I'm not charging you to thumb it up. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. But like I'm saying, they quit to throw that don't judge me when, when you expose them. When you put the spotlight on them, they don't want to be judged. You know, and um, uh, as I stated, a lot of single mothers are going to get offended by this content. Not the ones who know they did the right thing. It's the ones who know they were malicious, the ones who know they were shady, the ones who know they were conniving. They're the ones that are going to feel some type of way about this content. You know, them the ones that like to come in the chat room. Who are you to judge? The last time I checked, the, the Bible also says you judge the fruit by the tree that it bears. But I notice none of them never want to bring that part of the scripture up. That's what kills me about people who want to throw the Bible and talk about what's up, Anthony. They're talking about the Lord said, do not judge, do not judge. But yeah, you judge the tree by the fruit that it bears. If a tree is bearing apples. I'm going to I'm going to judge that that tree only bears apples. That tree cannot produce peaches. That tree cannot produce pears. So, we only want to pick out the part of the Bible that fits our situation and fits our negligence. But yeah, that's what I was saying. But I'm getting I'm going on to my point though. But this is why I'm talking about these layaway dads. A lot of you guys are being bamboozled. And the reason I said that is 
You got so many single mothers, not all single mothers. Let me put this out here before I proceed with this content. Not all single mothers. If this does not apply, you don't have to reply. Just let it fly. If this ain't you, you don't have to feel some type of way. If it is you and the shoe fits, the only thing I could tell you to do is lace them up and make sure you have on a, and make sure you have a, a French pedicure so your feet look good. If the shoe fit, wear it. You know, it is what it is. You know what I mean? If, if you something offends you that bad, then don't even view this content. If something is making me feel some type of way, I don't even comment, y'all. I just log out and I go somewhere. I've been on other people's sites where I will go into their chat and I listen to their message and it's degrading to me or it's making me feel some type of way. Guess what? I don't even comment. Some of y'all so damn sensitive, y'all go on somebody chat and the moment y'all hear somebody say something, y'all got the comment. Don't y'all realize everything does not require a reaction? You know how many chat rooms I went on and I heard brothers talking rack reckless about black women and or I go to other sisters' channels and hear her talking about, I just leave. I don't have time to be going back and forth and getting in my feelings, you know what I'm saying? Um... Yeah, exactly. Shelly Shells. You have to say that. It's not even all. Even. Exactly. That's what I'm saying, Anthony. But I have to say that because it's going to be that one sister. It's going to be Bokeisha. Bokeisha going to come up in here. Acting up. <laughs> and, 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 and acting up. And, and, and going to get mad and going to come on here. Why are you talking about single mothers? Why are you not talking about these fathers that are not here for their children? <laughs> and y'all know I ain't lying It's gonna always be that one My thing is If somebody's talking about something Why do you have to deflect it to something else If I'm up here telling you I don't like it For instance If somebody made apple pie And I say I don't like apple pie I don't care for apple pie And somebody gotta say Why you gotta talk about apple pie why are you talking about cherry pie? Why are you even talking about, um, you know, peach pie? Why you got to bring up apple pie? <laughs> I'm like, look, we talking about this. Why do you have to bring that? And us as sisters, black women, we are quick to do that. We don't want nobody pointing the heat. We don't want nobody bringing no heat to us. We want to bring all the heat, but we don't want nobody bringing it to us. <laughs> Yeah, Anthony, because they're guilty. Exactly. Because you can't offend me about a lie. You cannot offend me. How am I going to get offended about a lie? If somebody called me a crackhead, how am I going to get offended by that when I know I don't do crack? I mean, come on. It's basic common sense. But I know I'm all over the place. Let me talk about these layaway dads because it's a lot of you brothers out there that are getting bamboozled. Y'all have taken on another brother's responsibilities and y'all have bamboo y'all have been bamboozled. And exactly, Shelly, my, my old friend used to say that a hip dog a holler. Yep, you're right. You brothers have been basically suckered. A lot of you guys that have stepped up to be stepdads, y'all have been played. And I'm gonna say uh, not all women have those intentions because you have some women, you know, uh, they did right by their children. Like I said, they were married. They made good decisions. Just things happened along the way. So I'm excluding those women. I'm talking about these women that have basically manipulated y'all men and made y'all layaway dads. In other words, they got y'all stepping up and taking over another brother's payments. What's up, Frito? Good morning. Appreciate you for coming in. It's a lot of you brothers who done got bamboozled. Y'all are taking over another man's payments. You're taking over somebody else's payments. That a lot of y'all are doing that. And the thing about it is, I wouldn't have a problem with a man stepping up if the woman wasn't shady on how she got that man to step up. 
That is my problem with the whole situation because some of these women have not been honest with you men who have decided to step up and be stepdads. They done set up here and made you made themselves like the victim. Like they don't understand why the father of their children don't step didn't step up. They don't understand why the father of their children left them. They made themselves, they played the victim card, and a lot of you brothers who are stepfathers done fell for it. Y'all done set up here sympathizing with these women with these children children and you looking at the man who left her side or the man who's not there for the children you looking at him like he's a simp you looking at him like he's less than a man when the truth of the matter is you don't know the whole details of the situation you only know what the hell she told you and it's easy to believe her if you walk into the situation and you see that she's by herself. You automatically going to sit up there and swear that somebody just did her so wrong. How this man just walk away and leave her. How this man just, just walk out her life and you don't even know the whole situation and you up here sympathizing and empathizing with this broad and uh, looking at this guy like he less than a man when you don't understand the woman who you decide to step up for, she's the one that was less than a woman. But you're not understanding that because she don't whipped it on you so good that you believing her baby father is a trifling bum ass dude when that's not the case. She was a bum ass broad who chose him. And I'm tired of these guy females making themselves like victims for why they baby daddy ain't around because a lot of it is a bunch of bull crap. Now, Anthony says the exception is never the norm. Most women with payments, but not just children that come to payments when it comes to their child. Absolutely, Anthony. Absolutely. Thank you, Frito, for the donation. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. You always look out for my channel. I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, I was having Big Booty Keisha too many last night. I made a choice and didn't because they go back and forth for me. <laughs> Seven is a hot mess. Seven is a trip. Seven is one of my homeboys, y'all. Um, yeah, like I like I was saying, we want to sit up here and empathize with these single women, single moms, soap opera stories. Oh, he left. He's no good. He ain't never took care of my child. And you step fathers, y'all fall for that crap. Y'all believe these women until y'all knock them, knock that same woman up and she turn around and do the same thing to you. Y'all ever notice that? Y'all ever notice a guy who stepped up and played stepfather to another bra's kids and he turned around and he knock her up and she do him in the same way he she did he, she did in the other baby daddies. Now he in the same boat with the same guys he was looking down upon. Hmm. Isn't that ironic? <laughs> you brothers will come in these situations and sympathize with these women because she up here telling you your her baby daddy is no good. He don't take care of his kids. He ain't this. He ain't that. He, he don't do blah, blah, blah. And then he turn around and he get her pregnant. Now nah, he in the same boat. He going through it like the other men he was looking down upon. Yeah, man, this nigga, he ain't there for his kids. He don't take care of his kids. I don't have to step up and take care of his kids because he ain't man enough until she turn around and you get her pregnant. Now you in the same boat as the same dudes you was judging. <laughs> and you can't stand her either. Now you understand why, because the truth of the matter is, and I'm not condoning it. I'm not condoning it. What's up, life of J Fire? I'm not condoning it. I'm not saying that it is right for a man to walk away and abandon his responsibilities. I'm not saying that because I know Boo Keisha, Von Quisha. Shelly, was that the name you gave me, Von Quisha? I know Von Quisha going to come up in the chat room going off. Don't judge me. <laughs> don't be judging me. Don't be judging. You know, black women, we quit to say, don't be judging me. When you call us out, only God can judge me. Don't talk about my kids. 
You know, they couldn't say, don't talk about my kids. When the actual reality, nobody's not talking about their kids. We're talking about your simple behind who brought these kids here and knowing you couldn't afford them. But you couldn't say, I don't want nobody talking about my kids. I don't want nobody judging me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shelly, anybody who got the wrenches, watch out for Vaughn Quish if she come in here. Because I don't need that drama this morning. Evict her. Ev hand her an eviction notice. I don't need no bitter single mama coming up in here talking about why are you judging us and why are you talking about our children and why are you not making these men step up? Because you notice they only want to pick out the parts that they want to comment on. They never listen to the whole content. Von Quisha only wants to pick out the pieces of the content that pissed her off. She don't never listen to the whole thing. <laughs> Yes, yeah, seven and Shelly's. Make sure y'all get rid of Vaughn Quish if she come in here. Because I don't feel like that this morning. I don't feel like arguing with her uh, about why why I don't need to be judging her and only the Lord can judge her. I don't feel I'm not gonna do Vaughn Quisha this morning. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do her. I'm not in the mood. Ah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> life for Jay Fire said Von Quisha gonna come in the chat room like all my life I has to fight. I'll kill him dead. I'll kill him dead. <laughs> you know they quit to make themselves look like victims. Y'all is a mess in this chat room this morning. I'm serious. Y'all is a hot mess. I got clowns. I got a lot of class clowns in this chat room. I see that. <laughs> she gonna go Sophia. All my life I had to fight. No, all your life you've been keeping them legs open. That's what's been going on. <laughs> That's what you've been doing all your life. I know I'm going to get flagged on this. I'm going to have to send this video to my freaking Patreon account. Because I'm going to have Von Quisha, Keisha, Kiki, Mimi, Nikki. I'm going to have all these single moms coming to my content, throwing all kind of shade. Who are you to judge? Who are you to judge? <laughs> Only God can judge me. What about these baby fathers? Why you ain't talking about them? Why are you going in on us single mothers? Why are you not talking about these fathers? Because I don't feel like talking about them. I'm talking about you right now. Now, another day I'll talk about the fathers, but right now I'm talking about the single moms. So don't, I don't come on my channel with that foolishness. Um. Oh, yeah, Frito, you ain't lying. That's true. Frito says because it's getting closer to Christmas. Oh, yeah. Single dads. Let me tell y'all something. Y'all better put some extra on that child support because Christmas coming up. <laughs> Your Christmas coming up. Von Quisha going to be acting up. Y'all better make sure. Please put that child support. Please put it on there early. Get it over with because it's Christmas. You don't want her selling your churn food stamps to get the Christmas. Come on now. All right, Seven, I appreciate you for coming in. I know you have to work. But I know I'm, I'm playing around. I'm playing around. Let me get back to, this, to the serious topic at hand. Because, again, I'm all over the place. But I'm just having fun. But anyhow, you stepdads, I'm going to tell y'all why y'all need to be careful. Because these women are not always 100% honest. And this is not all women. If it does not apply, you don't have to reply. Let it fly. All single mothers do not do this. But a lot of these single mothers, they look for layaway fathers, meaning they look for fathers to help take over the payments. Because what has happened is a lot of these, the majority of these broads have put themselves way in over their heads by having these all these children that they really can't afford. They really don't have the finances. They really don't have the patience. And what has happened is a lot of these women, they do not want to deal with the burdens that they have created. They don't want to deal with the burdens that they, that they have created by themselves. They don't, they don't want to. They want to miss the cleanup, man. They want to step, they want a man that's going to step up and help take over and alleviate them of their baggage. And that's just the truth. Uh, they created all of these responsibilities. They have replaced all of these burdens on themselves and they don't want to deal with it by themselves. And especially if the, fa if the father of their children that they chose is a bum, he's a no good dude. They want to make up for it by finding a simp or a simple guy that's going to step up to the plate and take over and play daddy. 
because the thing is, they do not want to deal with the burden by themselves. They want somebody to help them to be able to deal with it. And if you are the type of dude, you falling for the empathy, you falling for the sympathy, you want to sympathize, you want to analyze, you want to have all this compassion for a woman that you may not even understand, maybe a, a straight thought, a woman who lacked discretion, who did not care who she slept with, who did not care who she made her baby daddy. All of these females are not victims. Lot some of these females are basically thoughts, and they intentionally put themselves in bad situations. They knew the guys they got pregnant from was no good. They knew the guys they laid up with didn't want them, wasn't feeling them. And what has happened in some cases is some of these females try to be slick and trap these dudes. They don't use protection. They don't use um, birth control. They intentionally get knocked up by these dudes. And then when these dudes, when these babies get here, now they want these guys who they knew was no good to begin with. They want these men to step up. They want these guys to step up. And they knew from the beginning that the guys was not going to be father material. And what they do is instead of them accepting their responsibility, dealing with it alone and stating, you know what? I created this burden for myself. I brought these problems upon myself. So I'm going to raise this child on my own the best I can. With or without nobody's help. But uh, some of these single moms, you guys, they are looking for layaway dad recruiters. They are recruiting y'all, and y'all don't even know it. If you meet a female with a, a, a couple of children, and all of her children got different baby daddies. She's never been married to none of them, never had a relationship with none of them. Do not think for a second she's not sizing you up. You are a fool to think that a woman a single mom with a bunch of children. I'm talking about them trifling ones, not the real single moms who's out here handling their business. They're not looking for a cleanup man. I'm talking about these trifling single moms. If you don't think for a second she's not sizing you up, she's not watching you with your income, not watching where you work at, she's looking at you as a prime candidate because the truth of the matter is, let me tell y'all how bad it done got. It has gotten so bad. The psyche of these women have, have, have really, really, really gotten worse, to be honest with you. The psyche of these women ha has gotten really terrible. And it's gotten so terrible, ladies and gentlemen, because I know some of my some of my ladies don't handle their business like that. So I'm not putting all women in the same category. I'm talking about these trifling bras. And I got so bad, y'all, that some of these females, they could already be having like five or six kids, right? And know they struggling, know it's hard, no, they don't have no real support. Knowing their family ain't backing them up. Knowing half of them, half of them struggling with so much support. They can't even get somebody to keep their kids just so they can work at Popeye's somewhere. Uh, that's how bad a lot of these females are lacking support. And yet that will still not be enough to stop them from going out here producing more children. They will still produce more children knowing they don't have no support. And you know what the sad part is? They will get with another guy right and if they like the guy or the guy's been sticking around for a while and he seems like he's a, a a potential candidate somebody that she could see herself being with she would get pregnant from him just to keep him even though she know she's struggling trying to take care of the four and five she got that's how bad it is yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong. Like, really? It's females out here because she like a guy. She will get pregnant from him only because she like him. Now, she don't know if he going to stick around. She don't know if he's going to marry her. She don't know if he's really in her. But because she likes him and the fact that he comes around knowing she already got several baby daddies, she would get pregnant from him thinking that that's going to make them connect. That I'm, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> she would get pregnant by a guy just because she like him, knowing she can't even afford anymore. It's crazy. I'm telling y'all, that's how bad it done got. Out there thought and the bopping. Yep, you're right. What's up, Samuel? 
And I don't blame you. She wants the Sims pray check. Exactly, Anthony. So sorry, I really hate that. Brother. Yeah, and we have it bad in the black community. That's why you guys, you brothers, y'all up here want to play stepdad, and I get it. I'm not saying all single moms are malicious. Do your research on the female when you meet her. Find out her history. If she was married to her children's father and they divorced, that's a different story. If the father of her children deceased, he died, or he's in prison for doing something stupid, then that's not her fault. She's a single mother by default. I'm talking about these single moms who got eight, nine baby daddies, and all of them got a different goddamn last name. Them the ones I'm talking about. Okay, because I don't want everybody thinking I'm putting all single mothers into the same box. All single mothers are not single mothers for the same reasons. Okay. So, my thing is this: if you are a a a, a dad, on you be careful, guys, putting yourself in a position where you become a father, a, a, a dad, a layaway father. You become a substitute dad because some of these women have not learned from their mistakes, and some people, instead of them learning from their mistakes, they want to find somebody to help clean up their mistakes. What good is somebody cleaning up? their mistakes when they're not learning from it and i'm noticing that it's a lot of these women out here not owning a lot of these broads out here not owning a responsibility they want to find a man that's going to step up and help them clean up their mess period and you you do have a few guys out there who got all who got several baby mamas and they want a woman to be in their life to help step mama, their children, and all of that. You do got some guys, they be trying to make us females be simps too now and go both ways. But the majority is these single moms. And while you guys get with these women and you sympathizing with these women, you are looking down on other guys who are not there for those kids. Like, um, they got, you know, uh, you got guys that are, you may have a guy he'll get with a female who got two, three baby daddies. And he's looking at the two, three baby daddies like they all are bums. But my thing is, why are you not looking at her? She the, she the one who got two, three different baby daddies. Why are you looking down on the guys? Why are you not looking at her? Let me tell you something, guys. You can tell a whole lot about a woman based on the way she has had her children. You can tell a whole lot. And the same thing for my for my ladies out there. You can tell what type of dude you're dealing with based on how many kids he got. If all of his baby mamas, <laughs> uh, he got several of them, that lets you know he's straight irresponsible. He just a sperm donor. He ain't never married none of the women. He never had a relationship with none of them. You already know. Why would you want to sign up for that? Why would you want to be with a guy that handles his business like that. And the same thing for you guys. Why would you want to be with a female? Look at her track record. It's like this. If somebody, somebody who done been to jail for something, when they do a job application, what do they ask on a job application? Do you have a criminal history? That is what they ask us. And the reason these jobs ask us that is because they need to know if we take a chance to hire you, for our company are you a high risk factor will you steal from us will you lie from us will you do this will you do that they need to know your history that is the purpose of them doing a reference check the problem is ladies and gentlemen it's not enough for y'all y'all are not doing y'all checking y'all references y'all going by how good a woman looks because she has a nice body because she has a cute face let me tell you something she can have a badass body and a bomb ass figure and be mentally disturbed okay and same thing with my ladies i don't care if he's six foot seven if his wong tong stretches from here to new zealand okay he can have more tricks in the bedroom than a magician but if he's mentally disturbed guess what you don't want them kind of problems y'all need to do your reference do your research before y'all start catching feelings for people before you get caught up in the hype you put your heart put your time put all your love and by the time you find out it's too late because you don't emotionally invested so much and when you do stuff like that you can't blame nobody but yourself
You know, and that's just the bottom line. Uh, Frito says, I just recently had a 38-year-old female try to trap me, but she already had kids that didn't even live with her. That's what I'm saying, Frito. Common sense. You saw the moment her two kids wasn't with her. You already knew what time that was. And that's a good point. That's another thing, guys. Let's say if she has children and none of her kids are with her, that's not good either. Why your mama raising your children? Why defects raising your children? Why somebody? That's a, all these red flags. People, we need to stop being blind. Start using your wisdom. Start using your knowledge. Stop going by how good somebody looks or how great they are in bed. You need, you need to pay attention to these situations or else you're going to put yourself in a very bad predicament. You know, so... Before I see men do it all the time. I stepped up. I stepped up because the other man wouldn't stepped up. Well, brother, you don't know what you're stepping into. <laughs> Before you get up here bragging, I took up. I, I I I stepped up. You know, I decided to be the man. You better make sure you have investigated that situation thoroughly before you go bragging about how you taking care of another man's kids because. Why is he not there? Find out why before you judge another man. Find out why. Maybe he's not there because she made him made things too difficult for him to want to have a relationship with a child. Maybe he's not there because every time he had tried to make a relation, tried to bond with his child, she always intervened. It's more than one way of looking at things. You cannot sympathize with the these some of these single moms because a lot of them intentionally got themselves in bad situations and 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 if you don't if you're not aware of the whole situation you will sympathize with her until she and and, and it's important that you look at the situation anyway because guess what she could turn around and do the same thing to you she could turn around y'all have a child together and she could turn around and do the same thing to you lie to you deceive you and then you end up going through the same thing that you're knocking all these other guys that done that done had to go through. Um, let me see. I heard up and got out of there. Then she tried to fake pregnant. I'm telling you, Frito. I'm telling you, you you dodged a bullet just in time, man. You dodged a bullet just in time. And it's sad that you have some of these women that will go that far. And I and I and I'm definitely and and I'm gonna say this and I'm gonna get ready to wrap things up a little while. But for all of you single moms out there. If you are a single mother, because there was things that happened that you had no control over, you and your husband divorced, you left him because he was abusive towards you, your children, you wanted a better life, so you had to leave that marriage, I commend you. You did what you had to do on the strength of your child. For you single moms out there who lost the father of your child through death. The father of your child died. He was sick in a car accident. Something tragic happened. My hat's off to you for still being strong and keeping your head above water for the sake of your of the children that you and him bear together. That was not your fault. Things happen in life. So I commend you as well. To the third type of single mothers who had children from men who they loved who they were in relationships with. And that man uh, could not step up and do the right thing. And he caused himself to get locked up and, and, and incarcerated. And it wasn't your fault. I respect you as well. Because it wasn't you that failed your children. He did. So I commend that. Um, when I mean death, Anthony, meaning that some single moms, if she was in a relationship with him, or they were married and he died, that wasn't her fault. Because death, none of us have no control over that. So that's what I'm speaking on terms of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, if he died for something senseless, yeah, that's why I said, you know, I gave examples like, you know, he died in a car accident or he died from a mental illness. Yeah, now something like that, then no. You know, but then, Anthony, you got to look at it this way. That wasn't her fault. Maybe he wasn't a drug dealer she didn't know about. You know what I mean? So sometimes we can't help 
when I when the other parent of our child does something stupid. That's like me and my husband, we married for 19 years. We got a daughter together. Now, if my husband is out there doing some dumb, something dumb that I don't know about that caused him to lose his life and I end up becoming a single mom, guess what? How's that my fault? Let's say if my husband was selling drugs on the side besides the business he owns. That's not my fault. If he if he's doing something, if you got a mate, if the father of your child, the mother of your child is living a secret life and doing dirty stuff that you don't know about and they lose their life, that's still not your fault because you had the best intentions. They did it. That's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, but see, Anthony, I get what you're saying, but that's still not her fault. Now, if she knew he was a drug boy, and knew he didn't want to work a legitimate job and he got killed or something, then yeah, that that she got to deal with. It. You know what I mean? But yeah, you know, um, like I said single mothers in that situation, I empathize with you. Now, for you other single moms who have been irresponsible, and what I mean by being irresponsible, you were laying with all type of random men, you did not use any protection. You did not protect yourself by being on birth control. You intentionally would not use protection, hoping to land a baller, somebody that was going to pay you well for 18 years, or hoping to keep a man in your life who evidently didn't want to be with you because you shouldn't have to trap a man in it even being with you. If he wants to be with you, he should be able to be with you without you having to pull all kinds of tricks up your sleeve to manipulate him into being there. If you are a woman who female who have become a single mom based on being malicious and conniving and shady, then I don't have any compassion for you. And for you to go around looking for another man to come into your life, to, to, to step up and be a stepfather, to step up and... Yeah, but don't know they're drug boys. Yeah, if they know they drug boys, then that's different, Anthony. If you know, then that's another story. Um, if um, you know, like I said, if you intentionally put yourselves in negligent situations because you're being greedy, you're being shady, you're being low, you know, you're trying to get money, you're trying to trap somebody, then for you to go around and look for a man to come into your life and take on the task of being a father to your children you are very selfish for doing so because the thing about it is you're not taking accountability for your actions because part of taking accountability ladies meaning i caused this to go down and i'm gonna have to deal with it I'm going to have to live with this. I'm going to have to deal with this. This is my burden. I'm not going to look for a cleanup man. I'm not going to have another man coming into my life trying to pick up the pieces where I messed up, where I made poor decisions. That's what being a woman is all about. Being a woman is not just about, well, I got the power to go and get child support if I can't get you to do what I need you to do. Or I got the power to make yourself miserable make you make your life miserable because i'm miserable that does not define being a woman being a woman means handling your business owning up to your mistakes and not looking for somebody to help you clean up where you messed up that is what being a woman is all about it's too many females out here who don't know the definition of being a real woman you know what i'm saying anybody could go down there and file child support anybody could go down there and and, and you know uh you can run after the father of your child and try to antagonize him, harass him, make his life miserable. But let me tell you something. A real woman is not going to take herself through that aggravation. You know, she's going to stand up and do whatever she has to do, whether the man wants to step up or he does not want to step up. And exactly, Anthony, they do not like to take accountable, uh, accountability. And the reason for that is because, again, it's these guys that are out here wife and these type of women. They're a wife and these type of women. I cannot tell you how many guys I know who are wife and women who got eight, nine baby daddies. I do not understand that. When there's other women out here who don't have all that chaos going on. you rather be with a woman who already had a child before you even conceived your own child, especially a woman who was negligent. Be different if she had a child but was responsible. You willing to still procreate and have a family with a female who was already had had a history of being promiscuous, laying with all kind of dudes, being with all kind of guys, 
and you think you won yourself a prize when you really don't have a prize. You know, what you got is discarded damaged goods that was left to the bottom of the barrel. And it amazes me how some of these brothers will walk around here cocky and arrogant like they got a prize. You know, when they got a woman with a lot of baggage. You don't have a prize. You got a woman with a lot of baggage. That's what you got. Um... Right, these women can't expect men to care low for the children they created a previous relationship. Yep. A female friend of mine told me her baby dad will only want to take care of the kids if she was having sex with him. He does not come around and don't take care of them. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, 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 when some women, they put themselves in certain situations. And you know what? I'm sure Water Sniper, she knew how he was before she had children with him. She knew. She knew how he was. Uh, but a lot of women, they know how these guys are. And they take a chance anyway. So I, I tell women all the time, if he was not a good boyfriend, what made you think he was going to be a good baby father? Half of these dudes wouldn't even buy, take you out to get you Chinese food. Chinese food, no more than $8. And yet you put yourself in a position to get pregnant from him and lay up with him in the raw. And now you mad because he won't take care of the child. You already knew he wasn't going to take care of the child. He wasn't taking care of you before you conceived the child. So it's a lot of women out here making very poor choices and when they make these poor choices they looking for a quick replacement dad to step up and help them out and i don't think that's cool um it's just been a minute absolutely that's what i'm saying shelly everybody makes mistakes but it takes a bigger person to admit them and not repeat them exactly that's my point uh could it be because we treat women like kids while well, holding up could it be because we treat this no uh a lot of has to do with it anthony is that just some of these women are not learning from their mistakes some of them repeat them over and over and over it's not that they're being treated like children a lot of these grown women they know better but what happens is some of these women they try to be slick they try to be smart they they try to be malicious they get pregnant on purpose and expecting different results and when the results turn out the opposite of what they have planned now they want to try to create chaos for someone now kevin paris what's up kevin paris um says what's the difference between responsible and not responsible with kids um good question when a woman when a person is responsible with kids meaning basically they handling their business you know they make sure that things already being taken care of before anybody even comes into their life. In other words, those children are being taken care of. They're being fed well. Their the children are being dressed properly. Uh, they, the, 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 the mother, she's um, making sure they're doing well in school. You know, um, she's attention teacher conferences. Um, she's basically being responsible just means you handling your business. Um, you're not looking for somebody to come in and help clean up your mess. If anybody does comes along, basically they'll be an assistant to you, but you're not depending on them. Meaning that if they there today, or if they decide to stay today or leave tomorrow, you're still going to take care of those children the same way you've always been taking care of them. And even before that person comes in the picture, you're not going to you know, uh, depend on them wholeheartedly to dig you out of your responsibilities. Not being responsible means you're being negligent. You're not, uh, you're not taking care of your children. You're not feeding them. You're not making sure they're going to school. Um, you're not making sure they're being fed properly. You're basically, you're not giving children the basic necessities, shelter, food, and clothing. You know, you're neglecting them not only with the necessities, you're neglecting them by not raising them. You're not teaching them anything. Um, you're not providing them with knowledge. All of those things of that nature, that's being negligent. That's being irresponsible. Also, the way you have these children is what makes you irresponsible. You just randomly land with different people. You don't use no protection with nobody. That's straight irresponsible. You're not on birth control. You're straight irresponsible. All of these things definitely take a toll on uh whether you're a responsible parent or not a responsible parent um yeah and that and that is the part shelly that we have to be conscious of is that um the scary thing as she stated is who who you know uh those who hide who they really are 
or who their intentions are. And that's very true. You have some people, they know how to play the part very well. You know, pe people are professionals at being victims. They are professionals at covering things up. They are professionals at acting like they don't know what, why things happen the way it happened. And that is why, ladies and gentlemen, that's where you have to use your wisdom and your knowledge to where you should be able to read right through them. If you have enough wisdom and knowledge, let me tell you something. You can't be bamboozled. A lot of people being bamboozled, Shelly, and to everybody else in this chat room, a lot of people being bamboozled because they're not using wisdom and they're not applying their knowledge. What is happening is people is less, a lot of people are allowing lust and flesh to get in the way of their common sense. If you learn how to utilize wisdom and knowledge, you will see right through somebody, no matter how they try to manipulate you, no matter how far, what strategies or what tactics they use or how much they try to be deceitful, you're going to be able to pick up on it right away. But again, that comes from wisdom and knowledge because wisdom and knowledge, ladies and gentlemen, will keep you woke. And that is what my channel is all about. And I try to stress that here more than anything. That's why my motto is I'm always serving wisdom and knowledge. If you don't have nothing else in this life, ladies and gentlemen, even if you don't have no money, even if you don't have friends, even if you don't have a great paying job, let me tell you something. What good is all of that if you don't have the wisdom and you don't have the knowledge to back it up? You could be a millionaire, but if you're dumb, if you're simple, you lack discernment, you lack knowledge, guess what? You're going to lose those millions. And so uh, if, if people would learn to make wisdom and knowledge more valuable, just as valuable as their bank accounts, just as valuable as their new cars, as valuable as their new homes. If people would learn to make wisdom and knowledge, if they would learn to treat wisdom and knowledge like money and, and spend it wisely, we would not have half of the problems that we have. And a lot of the things that we're going through is because people like to stay dumb. People like to stay blind to the fact. People like to allow their lust to get the best of them, to allow temptation to get the best of them. And this is why we have the issues we have. People don't want to be educated. People, people <laughs> yep, as I was stating, people want to go where the drama is. People want to, people don't want to, people don't want knowledge. People want to be entertained. Uh, people don't, people don't want to be educated. People want to go where the drama is. People want to go where the chaos is. Um, people want to go where, you know, where people are going to keep drama and confusion stirred up. You know, but nobody wants to go anywhere where they're going to learn something, where they're going to gain valuable wisdom, where they're going to gain knowledge. OK, because it's not entertaining enough. So it's really an individual decision. If you want to stay woke or if you want to be blinded to what's going on, that's a decision that you have to make. Um, that is something that you have to want for yourself because the world is not going to give it to you. That's something you have to fight for. So on that note, um, again, uh, in conclusion for any of you guys out here who have these single moms that are targeting you, that are trying to make you, um, be father of the year. They're trying to get you to, they're trying to position you to take on extra responsibilities you may not be prepared for. Make sure you do your research. Make sure you investigate the situation. Look fully into it. Okay. So, for those of you who enjoyed today's content, if you're not already subscribed, make sure you like, make sure you 
uh, share, <laughs> make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way, whenever I go live, you will be the first to know about it. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, 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 yeah, and that's all good. That's all good fire. You know, I had a little technical difficulties. But on that note, definitely, I hope everybody learned something here today. Um, and again, don't forget to share this content, like, thumbs up before y'all leave, before y'all exit out. Um, make sure you hit that notification bell so when I upload again, you will not miss out. Um, I'm going to get ready to exit. Uh, I need to get my coffee. I need to go and do my hair. I'm looking a hot mess. So, <laughs> so on that note, y'all, it has definitely been awesome. It has been real. It is your girl, Lady Mocha. Remember, I'm going to always pour you a cup of truth, and I'm going to always break you off with a slice of knowledge. Y'all take care. Holla at y'all soon. Bye.